So what have you done to help manage or improve your situation? I'm really proud of you know myself. That when I really did have enough and I was scared about what was going to happen, and I thought, right, something has got to be done here. My sort of how my brain works is I wrote a list, um, and I threw everything at everything. So I did, I did, you know, CBT. Um, I looked into my diet. I looked into exercise. Looked into mindfulness. Mm. Looked into meditation. Um, and I had a plan. I had a list. And I ticked them all off. Um, and I think it's a it's a culmination of all all of them things that I rely on now for man on a bad day or if, if anything happens. You know, I pick and choose. I do a bit more meditation, yeah. or I go out for a ride on the bike, or and that's what we, you know, we say on the group we haven't got answers. We mm. we haven't got that answer. It's it is it's work. You have to work, and I think that's an element of how you get out of it. Is I'm that pride in. Well, that was bad, but I worked hard, and now I'm the other side. Yeah. See, for me, similar but different. And I tell you the reason why because, so I fought it with everything I, I had. And eventually, I, I, I got to the point where it was just like, do you know what, right? I'm gonna stop trying to work it out for myself and I'm gonna accept other people's help. The doctor said, try taking one of these in the morning. All right, you probably know about this better than me, right? I'm gonna stop finding all the reasons not to, and I will. You might wanna go and talk to these people, he also said. Well, I may, I'll go and speak to my friend. No, I'll go and speak to the people and the, the psychiatric nurse that he referred me to to have a chat who gave me some coping mechanisms and strategies yeah. on how to deal with things and stuff like that. Um, I realised that um, my mum was great to chat to. I realised that I had other friends that weren't my best mate but were better at being able to deal with these types of conversations. Yeah. So not the kind of guy I go down the, the pub with or whatever, but someone that I could sit down and have a proper deep and meaningful and put myself out there that I needed a bit of a bit of help from people. And so that was I think that was the big thing for me. It was stopping having to be tough, be a bloke, and just going, Do you know what, I need help. And once you once I started asking for it, it came from all angles. Um and that's brave, I think. It, I was terrified, man. Yeah. Because for, I had to go, uh, in my head, I had to say, I'm a wuss, I need help. I can't deal with this on my own. I can't deal with life on life's terms right now. I need someone to come and help me deal with what you do and it's water off a duck's back. Yeah. But to me, it's pickling my head. Let's talk men's mental health. No pressure, no judgment, no stigma.